Hey guys, this is Mona and welcome to Butterflies Home and Garden. I had planned to do a video a little later on on how I smoke and dehydrate my hot peppers. However, Benjamin is out here in the garden getting all the dead stuff pulled and all of that good stuff. And they got over to where the sweet potatoes are <laughs> in the kiddie pool. So... This is what we found. When I say the rabbits have had some good meals <laughs> at my garden's expense this year, they have. But overall, I'm still satisfied with this harvest and just how well it did. I mean, look at this one right here. I mean, just massive. Yeah. So, I don't know what all is left in this pool. Um, I'm going to dig around in it in a little while and see. Um, but let me take you over here, since I am out here filming. Um, there's a lot of things, like some of the things I planted for the fall garden. It just did not um, have a chance. We had some frost a couple of times, and just with my work schedule and... Uh, Everything else is going on. I just didn't have time. So the frost got them. And, uh, but there's always next year. So let me show you what I got going on in here. And the smoker. And this is the first step um, as far as dehydrating. And what I've done is. I brought these, I harvested these, I wanna say, oh, mm, maybe about a month ago. And I let them stay indoors until they start to get a little pruney. Um, and, um, you know, just a little pruney. And smoked them on 200 for about, I'd say about an hour. And then I'll come back out and check on them. And then from there, I put them in the dehydrator. Um, I like doing it this way because it gives it that smoky smell and taste. So I have, these are the peppers that they just picked for me. And we still have quite a bit of plants left out there. Um, and there's a combination of peppers in here. There's some Spanish mammoth sweet peppers. Those are the only sweet. And under here, and I don't want to go down too far, with my bare hands because as you can see we got some Carolina Reapers so I am going to be rotating those out and put on the smoker um, I let those Carolina Reapers stay on the vine a long time so they already some of them started to get that pruniness to it but these are the ones that it takes a little longer because they're a thicker wall pepper um, so I'll probably experiment with the Carolina Reapers because they have a very thin wall, um, them and the habaneros, and put some on the smoker and then some just straight into the dehydrator. So I will bring you back and I know it's going to probably be a part one and part two to this video um, already, but I will bring you back in a bit once I get them all on the dehydrator. Everybody. All right, I am back going to take you outdoors. Um, from the first clip of this, uh, it's been a few days have passed. Um, I didn't get a chance to really get out here yesterday and do anything. We had a windstorm that was just, <laughs> just out of control. Um, <laughs> so, however, I did continue to work. And actually what's in here now... These are the last batch of the Carolina Reapers to, that I have smoked. Um, so I've actually started the process of removing the stems and um, sorting through all of them. Pretty much what's left. This is what is here of the jalapenos, the Mexican cherry ball, and... Um, the Bueno Molta pepper in red cayenne. Um, and I am using my Vitamix. And um, Vitamix 
well when I bought this Vitamix it came with this pitcher and this is especially designed for um, dry ingredients uh, to grind them up so still got a lot going on over here guys um, back here and this dehydrator is pretty much the same thing um, got a few little serranos that were in there that had not turned red yet um, and and this Excalibur these are pretty much done um, I don't want to crunch these up because getting that oil from this pepper um, I even got oil on my pores and I had on two layers of latex gloves but that's the Carolina Reaper that's why it's named the Carolina Reaper so I'm going to go ahead and finish getting all of these done get those ones out of the smoker over there and put into the dehydrator over here I do have left as far as um, all the peppers this and I'm going to be using this for something else um, for some jams not all of them I've only need one of those but I'm thinking about making some sort of pepper spray um, with this I'm not sure yet so I will bring you guys uh, along for the ride with that and once I get all of these grinded and all of that I will bring you back to show you how much I got so I uh, will be back in a moment all right guys I am back um, and as you can see yes it is another day actually it has taken me four days to do this um, one of the days we had just terrible terrible wind gust um, and it was just impossible to do it because it was flying in my nose and making me cough um, but I'm down to the last little bit of the peppers um, these right here are some um, sweet Spanish mammoth peppers. Um, so I'm kind of just mixing those in just to see. We got our last batch on the smoker over here. Um, and this has been fantastic doing it this way. I hope that you can see these in here. Um, I'm about to take those out and kind of let them cool down a little bit before I put them in the Vitamix. But... Um, I am super excited um, to start kind of putting different spices together with this and um, I mean these this right here is the ghost pepper and as you can see I hope there's no glare with that um, quite a bit um, never ever <laughs> is this going to be used a lot because all you need is a little pinch and whatever you know combination of seasonings that i'm going to be trying these in um and kind of experimenting with it um to see um of course i have my guinea pigs because uh, i cannot eat this hot stuff so um and my one dear friend uh she is so excited <laughs> once i get all of these mixed together and a little spice blend so i'm excited for her to taste them as well um so i just kind of wanted to come back and show you uh, the end results the sun is beaming in my face so I don't know if it's beaming in the camera um, just kind of wanted you to see um, where we're at at day four yeah day four <laughs> um, and I don't know I'll bring you guys along with me as I start to kind of mix spices together and um, you know see how it all works and you know how people like it um so i do want to put out there that this is not a sponsored video by vitamix weston or excalibur um or pit boss sm pit boss smoker um so guys that's it so as always be blessed and i will see you on the next video take care